brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Restaurants like McDonald's have been preparing for the eventual return of sit-down service, says area supervisor Joe Azuzu Jr. We do actually um, welcome, and I think uh, the rest of the businesses also do welcome um, opening up dine-in uh, to the public because it is uh, uh, something that will help get the economy um, moving forward. And as long as we open in the right way, we do feel comfortable that it's the right right next step to take. McDonald's also operates a busy drive through service, but Azuzu says dine-in customers are also important to the bottom line. He says they've been reviewing local, federal, and corporate social distancing guidelines to ensure the safety of customers and staff. So once they come in, get the food, um, you know, we'll have some guidelines of where they can sit. Uh, as far as the restroom, you know, we will have a signage of limiting the people that can go in the restroom. Um, and again, the customer flow and, and all these signage are there to help um, prevent people being next to each other for a long period of time. Another change for McDonald's in particular is that their regular senior citizen customers who like to meet for breakfast and coffee won't be able to do that for now. One thing we're going to miss for sure is, and our customers will miss, is coming in to really enjoy time with their friends. And, you know, um, we'll just have to uh, train our people uh, to be able to communicate with them, uh, to follow the guidelines that have been set forth by the federal and uh, local guidelines. On day one that we open, it's not going to be perfect when you walk into other estab any, uh, any establishments, but the most important thing, I think, is we're uh, improving and learning as we go. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Laconto. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.